Mm. How's it going, guys? And welcome back to Duncan Rumba. Where we last left off, we were investigating Stoof with Yakuya. Anyway, well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Well, we're not with Yakuya anymore, <laughs> huh? Just, just all of a sudden like that? Come on, enough of your annoying mis misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd been together this whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something more uh, useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Jonah. Well, bye. And just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly as he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In the end, I'd felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. At the same time, I'd covered some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack is one of the killed Chihiro. And the murderous files is one of us. But who is it? I have to find that out no matter what it takes. And to do that, there's somewhere I have to go investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene, the girls locker room. I should check the boys locker room too. And the other might have to come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find out everything I can. So what we know so far is... Oh, what was it? Oh, this way. The Byakuya seems to have knowledge of Toko's split personality. Or what seems like it, well, or, uh, based on her behavior. Um, I think Byakuya knows. Oh, hey! <laughs> Hifumi had discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit! <laughs> <laughs> Another stat increased for me! Evidence? What did you find? <laughs> I cannot reveal that just yet. <laughs> but I got you know what I found. We'll steal the killer's breath from his lungs. Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh yeah, Miss Lodenberg said she'd witnessed something worthwhile too. Really? What did she see? <laughs> she refused to tell me. It's like the girl bullies the boy she likes, right? Right? Okay, so where is Celeste now? The warehouse by the dorms. She was there, but at the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? Anyway, I'm gonna check the girls' locker room again. Hey, Kyoko, have you made any progress on the investigation? Hey. Generally speaking... But I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? So. Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But... but yeah. Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine where it's, its whereabouts. Yeah. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girls' locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. And Chihiro's handbook is missing? That's definitely worth worrying about. Alright, so it's gone. Alright. There's blood on this. How did blood get up there? It's the blood strained poster. The blood is the most noteworthy part, though, but. The big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable, too. A girl's locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place where you'd find something like this. Hey, you're right. Or, well, I don't know. There's blood stain on carpet. It could really have been caused by Chihiro's murder. Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Chihiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. Wait. Is that the missing extension cord? The rope was used to prop up some kind of crucifix position. Huh? Oh fuck, there it is. Yeah, I knew it. The rope have a plug! Wait, so then this isn't rope at all! But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Chihiro's fatal injury was, was the blow to the head, which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right, there's the issue of being, being suspended and the fatal blow. At first I didn't see any reason to think too much about it either. But either of them... But seeing them again after looking through the genocide jack file, something's not quite right. Yeah, they're hanged by scissors. None of them seems to be hanged by rope or any kind of reminds. Uh, it looks like rope, but scissors. So, Byakuya is wrong or he's trying to convince me this is a genocide jack. What does this all mean, you dumbass Nike? Alright. 
Well, one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend Sihiro. And to figure that one out, there's, this, there's a certain place I need to revisit to look over again. Plus, it might help me get a look at Genocide Jack's case one uh, file one more time. The darkness of your help this being is unforgivable. What a wretched beast to do such a thing. I cannot forgive this. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Let me check. He said to check the boys' locker room too. So let's check that out. Huh. This poster. It's a popular boy band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite feel- Wait, the posters are switched? Yeah, but wait, that reminds me, the poster in the other room, local room is- That's right, there's something definitely strange about this. In the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big-breasted swimsuit model. Could the poster have been switched? But if there were, why? What reason would anyone have- Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little bit more about locker rooms. The two locker room posters have been added to truth bullet distinction. That, that would mean that the murder took place in- Why is there dirt here? There's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it? Wait, this is strange. So, I would guess the murder took place in here. Hmm. Suspicious. Like, the bloodstain is exactly the same spot as in the other room. Nothing else is unusual. Alright, so we got that clue in place. Uh, what she said, Warrior House? Yeah, we'll go check that out. Okay, not exact spot, but I guess we should paid attention to the locker rooms in previous uh, investigation. You might be able to discover the co Is it the same color? Excuse me. Ah, uh, this seems like to be the same color. But at least it make me like think that the murder actually took place in the boys' locker room. You think Byakuya is trying to frame Toko? By convincing me that it was Genocide Jack and he's trying to gaslight me, isn't he? <laughs> I'm sure there must be still more waiting for me to be discovered. Oh really? Okay, hang on. Doesn't hold clues, but it does hold a coin! Um, hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so I think I'm missing more in the girls. I mean, maybe I need to talk to the delinquent guy. Mondo, was it? Oh, we knew that. Cheers Complex. Uh, a dumbbell. The word Bloodlust, we got that covered. Funny, like, they're not mentioning, or he's not mentioning, the actual scissors that are meant. Uh, the door leads to the pool, well, duh. Alright, I think I need to find more stuff in the boys' locker room. Excuse me. I think I might miss something here. Hmm, 
camera. Oh, I can go through here. All right, let's see. There might be some clues around here. Only over there. Okay. Maybe there's some kind of clue in the lockers. Yeah, guess not. Oh, worth a shot. Let's move over here. Hmm. Nothing worth checking. Over here? So I'm in here. I'm definitely missing something. So nothing in here. Yeah. Leave the pool. Have I really checked everything in here? Punching bag. Stain. What is it? Hmm. All right, let me see here. What about my items? What am I missing? Slug room card, but it's unlocked, so it's no point. Hmm. What am I missing? Let's go back in there. Blood to dust. What am I missing? Complain. All right. Let's see. We're talking about posters. You spent a lot of time exercising the girls' locker room, right, Rack? Right, second. I've used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Hino and I use it together. Okay, then let me just ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys' and girls' locker rooms could have been switched? Sorry, I can't really say. I don't really pay any attention to the posters. I see, Sorry. but there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Oh. <laughs> In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after exercise. So that brown stain in the boy's uh, locker room is her. So the carpet and has been switched. The murder took place in the boy's locker room. Anyway, the other day I spilled some of it on the carpet in the girl's locker room and it, fell the st and it left a stain. A stain? But well, I don't see any stain on the carpet now. So uh, Exactly. I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, isn't it unusually clean? As if there was never a stain here to begin with. Nice! Disappearing stain has been added to Truth Bullets section of the handbook. Can I leave now? Because I... Kinda solved the case of where the murder actually took place. Yeah, now I can leave. So I go to the warehouse, which is downstairs. Or you want me to go this way. You want me to go this way first. Might as well check this place first.
Great, no one's here. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Guess not. Uh, where was the murder case? Was it uh, here? Hmm, I don't know if it's around here somewhere. Did someone take it out of the archive? But the only one who could have done something like that, I can't think of anyone but Bakuya. Bakakuya. The wooden box is empty. The exchange chrome was in there before. Hmm. So it's not here anymore. Bakuya is being really sus. And if there's still a little more check, all right. Pack with books. We're looking at it. maybe there's some kind of clue here. Guess not. But a coin. Coin, 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 coin. Uh, more coins here. Dang, no coin. So about this lamp. Huh? The lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. The lamp's cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here. The last time I saw it was definitely on, and it was definitely right here. Yeah, because Byakuya was using it. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... Now I can leave. Alright, warehouse. So Byakuya is being very, very sus of being the, the real, actual murderer. Oh, let's go to the warehouse. So this is down there. Um, where was that again? Let's see... That's the second floor. There we go, warehouse. Oh, this is behind the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Alright, go. Hey! How's Toko doing? Oh, hi, Hina. How's Toko doing? That's what I just said. Same as before, she won't come out and she keeps keep mumbling on about something about genocide Jack. <laughs> so I just left there. You left her? My head was all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. Uh. Oh, but don't worry. I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Togo's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? <laughs> A donut, of course. A donut? Uh. There's two things uh, I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Really. I bet you would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe it was her one big regret. Uh, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with other girls much. It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said she, even though you and her invited you here to exercise with you, she always refused. Yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Mm. I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? <gasps> ah, wait, maybe. Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? You think so? Never really saw her as that kind of girl. Huh. Aoi was... Boys? Girl? What? Alright. Warehouse. Wait, where's the warehouse? Was it here? Wait, am I wrong? Ugh, wrong. <laughs> Other side. Damn it. Nothing of interest here. Have I even been here before? No, this is the first time. Alright, Celeste, what's up? Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels. There's an endless supply of tattoos from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? Sonna. I knew you were going to ask me that. I'm not talking about... 
Uh, I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. Then did you find something? <laughs> Very well, I will tell you, and only you. <laughs> Last night, I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What, really? <laughs> this was right before night time. Oh shit, it's voice. <laughs> ちょっと。トレーニングでも始めるおつもりですかえなんでわかったのスポーツバックからはみ出していますわよ。青いジャージの袖が。本当だ。ありがとう。Wait. Wait a minute. Was Chihiro a boy all along? じゃあ、急いでるから行くね。she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. So I assume she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of us would have none of this would ever have happened. <laughs> you get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently, she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. But the strange thing is, there was no trace of jack track jacket or duffel bag Celeste said she saw Chihiro carrying, which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. So is is Chihiro's big secret that he's she's a boy? Eh, <laughs> It kind of explains why she's avoiding girls, avoiding get it, exercising with Sakura and Aoi, but somehow it's okay talking to boys. The red door is right through here. Alright, let's save. That's not the save. There might be some other stuff that might... Uh, let's see here, report card. Uh, Chihiro, 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 Chihiro. Hmm, let's see. Ultimate programmer, alright. Okay. What the? Okay, hang on. She's flat chested too. Like, even the main character has a bigger chest. Oh, I guess it's like a round. I don't know. So, is everyone ready to... What? Am I blind or are we missing someone? Oh. Yeah, Toko's not here. Huh? And Toko is? You really don't remember? Maga, maga. <laughs> ah, kidding, I'm just kidding. How could I forget that little nut job? She's a cute little proud of the class trial this time. <laughs> Okie dokie, I'll go ahead and drag her out of here. Kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. And just like that. He reappeared, dragging Toko behind him. I, I told him I didn't want to, but he, he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl around. <laughs> Noises. <sighs> you. So now everyone's here, right? Okay then. Hustle into the onto the elevator and let's get this show on the road. I'll see you guys down there. Okay, so shall we get going? It's time to find out who killed Chihiro. See, she was so gentle, so calm and meek. Nobody had any problems with her. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. I'm, I'm starting to doubt she was a girl to begin with. <laughs> anyway, and the murderer is one of us. 
Someone's standing right here. Do I chuck to people? Uh, where is the... There we go. Shall we begin? Mm. You ready? We're doing this. I will uncover the villain who performs such genius acts on a weaker individual. Hmm. I don't know why the killer did what he did, but I'm sure we got self. Blah, 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 blah. All right, can we go in? I better want to say the same thing, unless... I gave you plenty to work with. Show us how far your logic can take you. All right, let's go. So. Yes. I gave a small nod in reply. With one last deep breath, I walked toward the elevator on shaky legs. <sighs> Yo, it's already been 26 minutes? Damn. Well, I've been doing some walking around in blind. But I feel like I should save this to the next part. The steel box sank with heavy clunking sound deeper and deeper into the ground. As we went deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator was unaffected, however, and continued to descend without hesitation. Until finally, it came to a sudden stop. What do you think? Oh, I can always save. What do you think? I redecorated. Isn't it so fresh? Isn't it so exciting? <laughs> Don't waste your time with stupid questions. Let's get this over with. No. Good. Good. You're ready, ready to go. Gotta say, I don't hate it. Not at all. Yeah. Okay, then let's get this show on the road. Everyone, please find your assigned seats. And so a curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Oh shit, I can save. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so this will be until next time. Hope you enjoyed that. Class trial up next. <laughs>